friends welcome back to our channel this is rohit friends in today's video we are going to learn about how to control music file in android application so in control we are going to discuss play pause and stop these three basic operations regarding music file we are going to discuss so in this video first of all we are going to understand what methods are available in order to control the music file in android application then we are going to discuss certain basic syntax regarding controlling music file and at last we are going to discuss one practical example where we will try to play pause and stop certain music file so let's start today's video by understanding which class is available for controlling music file in the android so in android we can play and control the audio files or the music file with the help of media player class so name of class is media player now let's try to understand what methods are available with the media player class now first method we have set a data source and it requires the path as an argument so this method is used for setting the data source data source means the file that we want to play so the file may be available on internal storage or it may be available on external storage or we may play certain local file as well which we will store within our application so to set that path we will use set data source method so in short it sets the path of our music file which we want to play with media player second method we have prepare so this method basically prepares our music player for playback synchronously third method we have start so this method basically starts or resume the playback fourth method we have stop so it will stop our playback fifth method we have pause it will pause our playback sixth method we have each playing now this is boolean method and this will return true or false so if media player is playing it will return true otherwise false next method we have seek to so it is used for seeking our music file and it requires one parameter that is the number of milliseconds we want to seek our music file so whatever number of milliseconds we will specify here it will seek our music file to that specified time then next method we have set looping now here we need to pass one parameter that is boolean value true or false so if we pass here true so it will set our player for looping so it will continuously play our music file and if you specify false value here then it will play our music file only once and after that it will stop so that is what the set looping method is then next method we have is looping now this method returns boolean value true or false basically it checks whether the music player is looping or non looping so if it is looping it will return true otherwise it will return false then next method we have select track so it is used for selecting the track for specified index so here we need to specify the index value then next method we have get current position so this will return the current playback position and last method we have get duration so this will return the duration of our file how much long it is okay so these are certain common methods that are available with media player class now let's try to talk about gui what we are going to create in example so in our gui we will have three buttons start pause and stop now whenever user will click on the start button our playback will start whenever user will click on pause our playback will pause and whenever user will click on stop our playback will stop so now i will take you to the android studio where already i have created one project called music demo and uh, i got these two files over here and now first of all we will come to the xml file so 
so here in this xml file i have this hello world available so i will take it to the top of our screen and i am going to change its text now next to that after changing text i am specifying the size for this text so let's say we will specify 40 dp as a size okay so we got this text like this now next to that we are going to add three buttons so this is first button for playing music so we will set its constraints first of all and we will specify the text over here play music now second button we will add in the same way and we will set its constraints and now we will specify text pause music and third button we will have stop music so friends like this our gui is completed now before proceeding to write our logic in java file i am going to create one raw directory within the resource directory so for that purpose here i will right click on a resource new and here we are going to specify android resource directory so select this option and now here we have to specify resource type as raw and simply click on okay now here you can see the raw directory is added now we are going to specify one music file within this raw directory so what you have to do so first of all we will go to the location of this raw directory where it is so right click on raw directory and look for option open in and select this explorer option now it will open the location of raw directory now you can see right now this raw directory is empty there is no any music file available so i am going to copy one music file from desktop to this location so here it is my file available so i will simply copy this file and we will add this file to the raw directory like this so this music file we want to play actually okay that's why we have copied it in raw directory like this now friends if you observe here it has started showing this my file dot mp3 so now we will try to start writing our code in java file now now friends here first of all we are going to create the object of our button class 
so so here we will write button b1 comma b2 comma b3 and we need to import this class now next to that i am going to specify the object of media player so for that i will write here media player and here let's say our object name will be mp so like this we have specified this objects now next to that here we are going to fetch a reference for all three buttons so first of all we will write b1 is equal to button find view by id r dot id dot id will be button now i will copy this line and we will add it two more times and we will change it accordingly so for second button id will be button 2 and for third button id will be button 3 and here we are going to change it to b2 and b3 now friends in this way we have fetch reference now next to that we are going to specify the file to our media player which we want to play so here we are going to specify the music file which we want to play so now here i am going to write mp is equal to media player dot create now here first of all we need to specify the context in which we are working so i will simply use get application context and next to that we are going to specify our music file so we will write here r dot raw dot and here we can see our file that is my file mp3 so this file we have specified which will be played by our music player so this is how we have specified file now next to that first of all we are going to play our file so for that purpose we will set on click listener for our button one so here i am going to write play music file and we will write b1 dot set on click listener new view on click listener and now here we are going to call mp dot start so this will play music that's it now this is for playing music in the same way we are going to write for pausing music pause music file so on second button we are going to pause it so that's why i will write b2 dot set on click listener new view on click listener and within this we are going to write mp dot pause so this will pause pause music this is for second button now third button we have stop music stop music file so for that we have third button so b3 dot set on click listener new view on click listener and within this we are going to write mp dot stop so this will stop music okay this is what code we have for all three buttons and we have called start pause and stop method respectively for all three buttons and before that we have created the instance of music player and we have specified the file which you want to play so this is what the logic we have in java file now we will try to test it 
friends i have connected my mobile phone and let's start running our app so here the build process has started now friends here the build process has completed and now it is installing application so here i will tap on install and now it is launching our activity so we got the jiva here and we have three buttons play pause and stop now first of all we will try to play our music so i will tap on play music so here we can see the music has started now i will pause this music so you can see music has paused and now again i will play music so wherever it has paused from that point it has started again and now i will stop it you can see music has stop friends if you find this video useful please like and share this video if you are new to our channel please subscribe this channel i will see you in next video thank you for watching